The following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. Entertainment presents Quentin's Animation Extravaganza, episode 122, God Kill the Queen! Welcome to Animation Land. As you can see, I've just finished my script for Chapter 25 of Himoto Sentai Go Ranger. Well, I've been thinking about Momoto all morning and have decided that I finally fulfill my promise to Usagi. Now, in order to do that, I have to do some research on the Dark Kingdom. So why don't we go ahead and... Come in! Hi, Quentin-chan! Oh, hi! Didn't expect you all to come by. Well, it's about time we put an end to the Dark Kingdom. Well, you're just in time. I was just about to do some research on them so that we know their location. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's look them up! Let's see... Uh, ah, here's something. Apparently, the Dark Kingdom is an evil organization who are bent on world domination, including Animation Land. I would expect that to be the case. Each member of the Four Heavenly Kings has his own army of monsters known as Yoma. Huh, didn't know they had more monsters. They must have done away with them all upon killing their leaders. Does it say anything about the Dark Kingdom's location? Let's see... Ah, here it is. The Dark Kingdom's base is at the deep point in the Arctic. Oh my god! I expect me there to be extremely powerful. I think we all expect that. Alright, we must prepare for our fight. We just have to get Momo shot back. Usagi, I made a promise to you last week that we would cure your Prince Charming and restore peace to the Silver Millennium. I am willing to keep that promise and I am about to fulfill it. Alright, prepare yourselves, girls. It's going to be a harsh adventure with both the weather and the enemy upon us. Wow, that was an extraordinary preparation. Alright, are you all ready? Ready! 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 Alright, let's go! Transformation! Moon Prism Power! Mega! Teleport! Alright, Queen Battle! Show yourself! Welcome, one and all! My dear Endymion and I have been expecting you! Oh yes, I found out your ambitions for Endymion. During the reign in the Moon Kingdom, you had a crush on him, but he was in love with Princess Serenity of the Moon. You were insanely jealous of Serenity. One day you were granted great magical powers and used them to brainwash the people of Earth into fighting against the moon so that you could win Endymion's heart and rule the world alongside him. Why, I must ask, were you able to unleash so much destruction to Earth and the moon and win Endymion's heart a thousand years later? Perhaps you're serving someone? No. No. Serving something! Endymion, kill them all! Yes, my queen! Monster transformation! Oh, no! He's got the legendary silver crystal! It's time to find it when he enters! Wait, what happened? It's not working! I can answer that! There's a fragment of the legendary silver crystal inside my motor's body! Well, in that case, yes sir! Now, what to do with you? We'll handle this! No way! It didn't work! Our attacks don't work either! Can nothing stop her? That's it! Explosion! Ah! Oh my god! You were able to maintain your strength after using one of the two moves that uses up all the user's energy? Hey, I got stronger during my matches with the Elite Four. That's it! If I can't have a Dibian, no one will! My Holy Queen Metallia! They stole a Dibian from me! Again! DESTROY THEM ALL! Queen Metal, 
tell ya! So Queen Barrel was being controlled by something after all. Anyway, let's remove the fragment from Omoto's body. Now let's see, uh, I gotta do it just right over... There! It's done! Wow, you actually pulled it off perfectly! Mama-chan! Usagi, how did I come back to life? It's a long story. Thank you, Bowser! What would my life be without you? Don't be overjoyed just yet. We'll have to face Queen Metallia sometime soon. She's even more powerful than Queen Barrel was. Metallia must be the true ruler of the Dark Kingdom, and the reason why Queen Barrel was able to brainwash Mamoru. Prepare yourselves for the final battle with the Dark Kingdom! Alright, I fulfilled my promise to Usagi, and she and Mamoru are finally reunited. Oh, I just realized, my match with the leader of the Elite Four is in two days. Oh well, I'm sure I'll defeat him and become the champion. Stop by anytime you like, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was loosely based on a chapter of Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, written by Naoko Takeuchi, copyright 1992-1997. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network.